Hello and thank you for joining my channel, Seasonal Crafts and Creations. Today I would like to show you these items that I'm going to be working on. This little Easter basket with eggs. I'm going to take the garland off and redo it. All but the um, Easter eggs, I'm going to leave those in. And I'm going to reuse the Happy Easter, maybe. And this little Follow the Bunny, he has chocolate. I already put a bow on him one time, but I'm going to redo. There's nothing but glitter everywhere, and I'm going to redo stuff and the lettering and maybe something on the bunny. And, um,. Possibly, I might even paint the back or along the sides to give it that weathered look. I'm going to redo this hippity hoppity Easter's on its way sign. There's a lot of glitter on hippity Easter and way. I'm going to tone it down a little bit and I already did in one video the bunny and um, everything but I think I'm going to do the welcome and um, possibly put a bow on it okay without further ado let's get started First one I'm going to do is hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. I already sanded it down before so I don't there's no need for sanding it was to cut time on video showing I'm just picking out my paint brushes I don't like that paintbrush. And I have to use a different color here because it's not dark enough to cover over it so um, the um, fuchsia won't cover over the stationery up here but the purple Irish will I'm gonna grab a napkin real fast if you don't mind I'm so sorry about that. That's so unprofessional. I could get up and leave because I forgot something. But I guess not be too hard on myself. We all forget things, right? I 
Okay. It's a little darker, and I already like it. And I'm doing this first, the top, to, I, well, I like starting at top and working my way down, most cases anyway, but I want this to dry before I'm done so I can put a bow on it. I wipe them off as good as I can as I go. That way I can wash them off when I'm finished. Excuse me. I've got a slight code, so I apologize. This is Mountain Blue. I've got a gray hair. If I can't pull it, I'm going to have to cut it. I'm going to leave this purple. Pardon me. And do this a darker. Do the hippity and on it a darker color. I'm sorry, but I change my mind a lot when it comes to painting and redoing things like this. But I'm trying to go for the best effect. And I hope you understand.
some of that though. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I have a code. They said I had sinusitis, whatever that is. My children are grown up, but I have grandchildren now. I'm Nana to them. And um, the older ones, all but uh, the mother and father, they um, don't care if I still decorate for Easter or not. But, uh, oh, they want the big Easter dinner and all that and spending time all day with the family. But, um... For the kids, me and my daughter and son-in-law, we do Easter for them, the, not the celebrating of God and all that, but the um, Easter egg hunt and the uh, basket and all that. When I get done with hippity here, I will show you the progress. And please, when when we finish, or Darren, um, don't forget to leave a comment, and I'll reply back to you. I'm more I'm happy to get it. it makes me happy to see comments. And if you like the video, subscribe to me. That way you'll get notifications of when I have um, new videos. Because I'm new on YouTube for videos anyway. Um, and I've been listing a lot just getting started. But I'm going to start listing just um, twice a week. And I'm thinking Tuesdays and Thursdays. Unless I have a doctor's appointment of course. Um, then it'll be um, Monday if I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. If I have a doctor's appointment on Thursday, it'll be Friday. And um, I have a contest going on. Uh, read the description in this video or one of the other ones. And if you see... Um, video that has where you can leave remarks on it um leave, make sure you leave a remark because that part's in with the contest and it it tells you in the description too what you win unless you don't like that then i'll get whoever whatever they want You're in that price range, I mean. Okay, here's what it looks like so far. Hippity. And right here, I painted that. And I painted the little twirl there. <clears throat> now I'm going to leave down here until I get done with the Easter Part. Well, the hoppity and the Easter's part. Okay, let's see.
me what you was like what, when you're looking for a video, a craft video. Tell me what you're looking for, and I'll try to get that for you and do something in that effect. I'm always up for ideas. Even though I'm painting on top of the glitter, you, even though it's been sanded, you can still see some of the glitter. And it's still on it, even though I wiped it down real good afterwards. I'm painting over the lettering too where it's where you can see the back of the sign through it. I just don't like that. And I'm just going over the white parts with an extra coating because they're bleeding through. But it looks like a second coat's going to do it. Keep hearing noises like somebody's up. And unless it's my son coming home from work, I I don't think anybody's up yet. Yeah, he called. <coughs> Normally I greet them, tell them hi, but I just can't feel like being off the video, if you know what I mean. Now there's what the hoppity looks like. Just rem leave a remark and let me know after you see it if it looks any better to you.
And now the phone of somebody that's going off. This is too funny. <laughs> uh-uh, get back. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go. Key Cat was trying to be in the video again. He was in my one I haven't posted yet. It's one it's gonna be the one about the flowers and the Easter eggs is the title of it. And um well flowers and Easter eggs arrangement is is gonna be the title of it. And um he just sprawled out laying right in the middle of the table and I had to work around him because I'd already started and I take mine on my I make my videos on my laptop and um, I don't have no way of editing and stomping or anything I don't have anything like that Adobe or Adobe or Photoshop or nothing Well, it's getting there. Hopefully that'll be dry. That way I can make that bow and put on it. I think a bow is what does it. already dry good I get to put the bow on it that, that makes me happy Kind of got out of the line there for a minute.
Okay, there is hippity hoppity and way. Sorry, I'm getting the sniffles. his in that color. I'm going to use the paint. I don't really have the color for. Let me cut these two frays off here. I have two frays on my paintbrush. I'm just cutting them off. That's what I do instead of throwing them away. I picked up the other one, but I picked up that one. It, ha it had the wrong paint on it. It was the wrong paint brush. It's alright. I'm just going to go right over what I just painted. Let me cover it up.
a bit pink in there. And it was running, so I couldn't leave it to let it dry all smeary. Yeah, I use my fingers and everything. I'm not one of them painters that when they're... They say if you, you ain't a real painter unless you uh, wear the paint. Well, I must be one then. I don't know what kind of one, <laughs> but I must be one. Almost finished with it. Yeah, um, for the contest back to that. Um, that I'm having it's if if you want to join it you have to subscribe is number one and leave a remark and share those are the three main important ones and then let's see subscribe leave a remark share and if you want if you like the video that would be beneficial just for me knowing how many people like it and um, I think that's it subscribe comment share and like there's only four I do believe and um, but the the three you have to do in order to qualify to be in the contest and um, your whoever you sub, you um, share with um, if any not share with if you tell people and you tell them to put your name 
and you, and you get the most of those, like so and so, Sam found the vast line, and Nancy Drew referred me to your videos, your DIY DIY videos. Then that'd be each time you get, I get a remark like that. I write the person's name down and I check it each time. I put a put a check mark or a one by each time somebody says that they got the information about my my videos and my contest off of you. And um, in the description, it also says what the items are that you'll be getting. Plus, there'll be some other ones I'll be throwing in there. And if if you don't like some of the ones, as long as it, it totals out to be the same price, I'll be more than happy to switch it out for the winner. I'm too picky, I think. You feel that way about yourself? I know I am. You gotta have the straight line. Almost done, people. Oh, and hit me up on Instagram, too. It's not part of the contest, but it's Thalmas Seasonal Crafts and Creations. And, uh, and I'll hit you up. I just recently became a member of them because I joined the contest, and one, one of the conditions was subscribe and subscribe to their Instagram channel so I had to uh, make an account with them first sign up and then subscribe to them Okay, I think this and 
Th this one, I'm going to finish the S and it's done after I put the bow on it. And then I'm going to do this one. And then I'm going to put a bow on this one and then we're done. So we're almost there. See, YouTube don't go by uh, views or anything. They go by how many, one, you got to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of uh, video playtime by um, the public viewing in order to become a associate or something. Um, and that's what I'm going for. Okay, this one is finished. I like it. So I'm going to sit that one over here. I'm going to put, let's put all the paint back in where they go. This is a trick I learned. Don't do it that way. You got to open it. Get a bunch on it. You just wipe it right back down in there. It saves. What if what if you're just a little bit away from painting something and you don't have any more of that color? That'll save you. That's a lot that I put in there because I thought I was going to have more color. A, more color of this to use. Okay, there's that one. Mm -hmm. Get this off. I don't want to get it on my next thing. Use this one for. Tell you what, there's such a little bit in there. I'm just going to leave that, but I had to do that. Okay, the next one, we're going to put a bow on this one. I'm just letting, and then I'll put a bow on this one. Let's see. I think this pink one will look good on that one. I'm going to stick a glue. Two high. Got a green one. Got a yellow one. And I've got green. I think I'm going with green. These are Chanel stems. I'm putting the pink one over there on that one. All you do, you get a strip, you fold it, then you fold it. You even it up, and then right in the center, you scrunch it up. There's your bow. I wish I had a pink Chanel tie.
You tighten it up real tight now. Push, push them down. They're, they're up like that. So push them down. Get your glue gun. Put, put a little, quite a bit on it. About that much glue. Even it up the way you want it to look. And I want mine just right above. Right there. I want one in mine right there. So, uh, right above it. It's showing out on the sides. <clears throat> and then for this one. You get it here, then you fold it over. And you cut the extra off. Go down under it just a little. Then you scrunch it up. There we go. Now this is going to look pretty green on green. This one need, I need to straighten this one out just a little out. Have it too far over. There. Told you I'm cheeky. Off by just a key bit. Now make sure you push them over. Put you some glue. One on each side of the Chanel stem, and one right on top of it. Put it where you want it. There's mine. And then with this, first, Take, take off the happy Easter. Just pick apart and slowly so you don't rip it. Lift it up. It comes up easy. Now we'll have to trim all this yellow off. So I'll show you how. And if you rip it, you don't even have to use it. So I, I wouldn't worry about it. It ain't no how to. You don't have to use it. I just like using it. Now, what I'm going to take off is the yellow and the yellow handle. I'm leaving the eggs and I'm taking off the um, purple. You start, you find an end and you start and you just start untwist it, just twist it off. See how easy that was? 
You might occasionally I've run into difficulty, so just get your scissors and snip it in. Because sometimes you might not be able to find the end. And sometimes I pull real hard and just push it over one of these notches. And there's the end. It just unravels. It's real easy. Now getting it off that end. And sometimes they tie them. Now you will need some wire cutters. And I'll show you why just in a second. So once you get this done and this done, get your wire cutters out. And these little these little snips, tips or whatever. We gotta snip every one of them off as close to this light bar as you can. See, they come right off. And these wire cutters came from the Dollar Tree for one dollar. Now to do the other side. Sorry if the monitor wiggled around, my cat just stretched and he's sleeping right beside the monitor. up all your little pieces. Now, here's, I'm using, you can use any color you want, burlap ribbon, nine foot. Um, it's Two inches by uh, uh, 108 inches. Oops, come here. This is one of my babies. So, what I do, I 
roll out a lot. Measure this. Let's see about folding it in half. Well, if I can get rid of it, it's stuck to it. <laughs> nope, that won't cover it up. We gotta. Turn it around. And get some glue sticks out. You're going to have to glue this. Even it up at the bottom. Glue this along this, this line. The bottom one. And this top one where it goes into the, the basket from the bottom. I'll show you. Glue it. It would help if I had some glue. <laughs> okay. Glue it along the side. Okay, now, gotta hurry before the glue dries. You gotta take it and hold it, push it down. dry. That's how fast it dries. But we'll get them. Let's just do a little at a time. Hold it still. Put a lot on it. I just did the out. Ooh, that hurt. I just did the outer end. So use your scissors to push down on it, or a butter knife, or something. Anything inside your finger. I'll slowly lift that up, but keep that tightly down. And I'll do just a little. Two drops. Okay. Now, we're on this side. Push it down. Mm, did it again. I seem to forget my own tips, don't I? That's why I strongly advise children under a certain age don't let them near a blue gun. And in my case, Thelma's, like me, maybe they shouldn't be allowed around one either. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny. Mm.
Oh, my back's beginning to hurt. Mm. Okay, just every now and then just push down on the burlap on the and make sure that sticks. I'm sorry that I have to get a drink of pop. Okay, now, I believe this should have dried enough. Just to make for sure. Let's turn this around. And put it right on the end on the top to hold this in place Okay, it almost didn't want to stick. Okay, now any strings, move them out of the way. Now let's start wrapping it. And get any strings out of the way. You got to keep wrapping it until you can't see this anymore through it. And that right there does it about three turns in front. Might as well make it three in the back. And what we'll do is glue the end here in the middle and over here. Well, you don't have to put it in the middle unless you already have. So let's just put it right here on the end, slightly before, because you don't want to see this in the front, the cut. So you might want to cut first, then glue it. It'd probably be easier. I don't mean to confuse you, but this, I've never done one before. I'm making it up as I go along. Any pieces of burlap that comes loose, just cut. And strings of glue. Okay, that's what it looks like so far. Now, let's pick a color that we want the basket to do. Yours could be any color you want. <coughs> Mine, this did not come from the Dollar Tree. It came from It does not say where it came from. Um, I got it at a, a yard sale, so I, that explains why I don't know. 
But first I'm going to wrap this in, in this so you don't see through it and then put the pink around it. You can do that too if you want. You start down at the bottom and you put it slightly at an angle with that going up. And you gotta hurry or it'll dry the glue wheel on that plastic. And just work your way up slowly like this slowly up use something soft like this is it's soft it's not a it's not a burlap it's just a it looks like a burlap but it's it's a ribbon sorry I was watching what I was doing here I was looking at the ribbon to try to tell you if it was burlap or ribbon and I got distracted. This is just enough. Whoops. Almost. I'm going to have to get more here. I'm pulling it tighter. See if that'll work. Nope. So, I think it'll work. Just turn it under if that ever happens. And first, glue the burlap together. Then glue the burlap right there. This is how I do it. And then I'll show you because I'm not gonna keep it this this color. I don't know, I think I will and put a bow on it. Or I forgot about the Happy Easter. If you have your Happy Easter and it didn't tear like mine didn't, you uh, turn it over. Oh, my back's hurting. I'm sorry. Don't mean to complain, but it's hurting. <laughs> Take your scissors, slightly go under, but avoid the lettering on both sides of those little pieces
got one stuck. Try not to rip. Anyway, you just cut them down. Got to have patience or, or you ain't going to want to do this. I do it just because I like lettering. Try it. I mean, I know it might be aggravating, but stick in there. Try it. You can do it. Takes a while, but I'm right there with you right now. Look up and you'll see me. I've done this since um, Halloween of 2019, about two months before, so it was uh, getting to be, well, was, I'd say August, September I started, and Halloween was the biggest um, holiday that I did, that was my first and biggest. And I started doing that with the boo and all that on, on my stuff I, I was selling. See? Can't even see it. Once you get it all off. I was happy. And then Easter. Some of them might even try to just pick off. And if not, it brings them standing straight up so you can just pick it. Got mine, how are you doing? I'll stop if you need to catch up, or if you're going faster than me, then I'll, I'll get done in a minute. And, um, but if, if, if I get done before you do, just Pause the video, and I'll and I'll be waiting on you. So just, I'm still there for you. I know it sounds stupid. I'm a video. It's a video, but you know what I mean. I'm there for you. Okay, I got all my little stuff everywhere now. So, all you have to do is glue it on in just a few spots here and there. Mm. 
Okay. There's Happy. Ow. Put my finger in the wrong spot. There's Happy. Okay, there's mine. Let me raise the video up for you. There it is. Happy Easter. I decided to leave this here to go with the fluffy of the eggs. And it's a handle. And it should be fluffy and soft and shiny. All right, I'm, I hope you liked the video. If you did, um, for my benefit of knowing, click uh, like. And um, for the contest, if you want to enter it, uh, click surprise, subscribe, surprise. How silly am I? Subscribe, share, and leave a remark. And I will re reply to your remark. Now, if you're on a video that um, YouTube has uh, turned off the remarks. Just go to another video. If you want to watch it, fine. If you don't, fine. Just leave your remark on there. I'll, I'll find it. Just put down uh, entering the contest and um, everything that I said before in the video and you'll be entered and I will announce it in at the, the first week of April okay thank you for you have a good day and God bless bye